There was much anticipation for Jair Bolsonaro's COVID-19 test results after Monday's announcement that the Brazilian president had been running a fever and showing other symptoms of the disease. But the news was delivered somewhat surprisingly by the president himself in an informal press conference, downplaying the result much the way he's downplayed the overall seriousness of the pandemic. I am fine. I'm really fine. I'm even feeling like going for a walk. I'm not going to do it now only because doctors say I shouldn't. I credit this not only to the fantastic care I had for my doctors, but also to the use of hydroxychloroquine. The reaction was almost instantaneous. In a few hours, I was really feeling fine. Bolsonaro has been a strong proponent of hydroxychloroquine as a treatment for the virus, despite the lack of scientific evidence of its effectiveness. He said he's taken the antibiotic azithromycin too. Even among some Bolsonaro supporters we spoke to, there was a feeling that the president may have been too cavalier about the disease. His problem was that he did not mind about it at all. He was around saying, I won't catch it, I won't catch it. And now it happened. Todo mundo. People only change their minds when the problem hits home. I am a supporter of Bolsonaro, but I believe now he will see he was wrong about the disease. Throughout the pandemic, President Jair Bolsonaro dismissed the severity of COVID-19. He even referred to it as a little flu. Now the fact that he's been infected doesn't seem to have changed his attitudes towards the disease. Bolsonaro repeated his views that the pandemic is overblown and that social distancing measures are exaggerated. He even took a couple of steps back from journalists and took off his mask at the end of his news conference, so people could see in his face that he appeared well. In Geneva, there was reaction from the World Health Organization. No country is immune and no country is safe and no individual can be safe. But having said this, we wish His Excellency uh, the President well, and we wish him fast recovery. I think it brings home for us all the, the reality of this virus, uh, and uh, no one uh, uh, is, is special in that regard. We're all potentially exposed to this virus. Bolsonaro joins a short list of world leaders to succumb to the coronavirus. Still uncertain whether his symptoms remain mild or they are worsen enough to land the 65-year-old leader in a hospital. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.